In this video, we'll explain how to use filters to segment your database. You'll use Ordo's intuitive filtering throughout the platform to quickly look at different views of the data in your CDP and start to organize that data for use, both to execute campaigns and to run reports. You can also save filtered views that you need to come back to in two ways, either as an audience, which will dynamically maintain that segment, adding people as they meet criteria you filtered for or removing them when they no longer meet those criteria, or you can save by adding a tag. Tags will help you permanently maintain a static list of users. So let's get started. In Ordo, go to the People tab, where you'll find all the people from your CDP and all the data you have available related to them, including custom activities or data collected through connected data sources. You can customize your view of the data by adding or removing fields and then dragging them to reorder. And it works the same if you head over to the Organizations tab as well. Now that you're familiar with how to access the data from your CDP, let's use filters to hone in on the segments you're interested in. For example, let's imagine that in an important segment for us is people on a free trial who are a strong fit in terms of our buyer persona but they're not yet engaged with sales. So I'll filter to everyone who does not have a qualified opportunity open in Salesforce, and they currently are on an active 14-day free trial. I'll start another condition group to then filter to anyone who is a strong fit, according to either their buyer score or coming from a company with more than 50 employees. By starting this separate condition group, I'm able to apply specific and or logic to this group without doing so to other condition groups. And finally, I'll add a filter to exclude anyone who has recently received the automated email that goes out when a new demo has been booked. Activity filters like this last one become really useful for looking at exactly how and when users are engaging with my brand, from my marketing campaigns to within my product and all the way through to making purchases. Activity filters will look at data captured through connected data sources or custom activities that you set up in Ordo. Now I can save my filtered view. Let's start with adding a tag to this particular group of users. So select everyone that you want to tag, and from the dropdown, either select an existing tag, or you can go ahead and create a new one. With that created, click Done, select your new tag, and apply. It's that simple. As a reminder, tags are always associated with a static list. So everyone that I just tagged with my March pricing incentive will hold on to that tag until I remove it. So often you'll also want to save these filtered views as an audience. So then I have a dynamically maintained segment for people who meet these criteria, which I can use in my automated campaigns. At any time, you can head over to the Audiences tab in the left-hand navigation so you can find all the audiences that you've saved and see information about them Things like how their membership is trending over time, or how their engagement is holding up. Filters are at the heart of everything you'll do in Ordo. As you're building new campaigns, you can filter your CDP in the same way you did from the People tab directly in the campaign you're building. Or you can select an audience you've already saved. Similarly, you can also select a static list using a tag. Likewise with reports, you can filter the results of your analysis to look at a particular saved audience segment, a tag, or just filter on the fly. We didn't have a lot of time to go into the details of building campaigns or running reports, but you can find more on that in some of our other videos. And if you get stuck as you're starting to use filters, save audiences, and add tags, check out our help documentation or get in touch with us at help at ordo.com if you're stuck.